two months ago, I received my one shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine, and I felt a little sleepy the next day, and then I was fine. Or so I thought. Because little did I know, my vaccine gave me magnetic superpowers. Behold. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. Hold on. I thought magnetic superpowers would be way better than this. What what the shit is this? So, yeah, there's this new thing going around where anti-vaccination loons are claiming that COVID-19 vaccines turn you magnetic. And apparently that's a bad thing, I guess. Yes, vaccines do harm people. By the way, so I just found out something when I was on lunch and I wanted to show it to you. We were talking about Dr. Tenpenny's testimony about magnetic vaccine crystals. So this is what I found out. So I have a key and a bobby pin here. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. It sticks to my neck, too. I got this. Yeah, so if somebody can explain this, that would be great. Any questions? As a certified ancient skeptical person who has been doing this for way too long, I remember a time when kooks claimed that they were magnetic as a brag. For decades, gurus, prophets, and spiritual healers have shown off their magical properties as proof that they are blessed with great powers. For instance, 10 years ago, The Telegraph published this breathless coverage of a six-year-old Croatian boy named Ivan who could stick spoons, phones, and frying pans to his body. And 10 years ago, phones were pretty big, so... Um, but that's not all. It never is. Um, Ivan was also said to be much stronger than other children his age and is able to carry bags of cement as heavy as 50 pounds. And his family say Ivan has also used his healing hands to alleviate his grandfather's stomach pains and take away the pain of a neighbor who hurt his leg in a tractor accident. So yeah, not this is definitely not a new phenomenon. Um, so it's quite easy for me to help that nurse out when she requests someone explain what's happening to her because this has already been explained many, many times. The explanation is sebum. Sebum is an oily, waxy substance that's produced by glands under your skin that are like under the hair follicle. It's different from sweat as it's produced by different glands and it has a different job to do, uh, like keeping your skin healthy and hydrated. It even has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Um, sebum is mostly concentrated on your face and scalp, but it's found all over your body except for the palms of your hands and the bottoms of your feet. Excess production of sebum is the reason why uh, some people have a lot of acne. Sebum production slows down after your teen years, and it causes some other skin conditions. And when you don't wash yourself properly, it's the reason why things, metal or otherwise, can stick to your skin. I took the time to pause my workout yesterday to show you what happens when you produce uh, some sweat and also you haven't washed off the sebum from last night. For people who are prone to magical thinking, this is the kind of thing that they can fool themselves into believing. Oh my gosh, I'm magnetic or psychic. For other people, they damn well know that they aren't magnetic or psychic or whatever, but they use the magnet trick to convince people that they have magical powers that are worth paying for or joining a cult for. That's why the late, great James the Amazing Randy went on soul broadcasting to do battle with a Chinese man who claimed he could stick irons and mirrors to his chest. Check it out. Uh, 
파우더인가? 이거 뭔지 아시겠어요? I'm going to ask the challengers to um, put the powder on their hands and on their chests and then make the objects stay there. 핸드시켜서 체크하시겠답니다. 한 가지 확실한 것은 그 절대 초... That's right. The best way to disprove the magnetism claim, if people aren't convinced by that item you just stuck to yourself isn't ferromagnetic, meaning that it does not attract itself to magnets. Magnets do not stick to it. Not all metals are ferromagnetic. So if that argument doesn't work, or if the argument that goes, there's literally no way for your body to become a magnet that's not how magnets work fucking magnets how do they work if none of that works then baby powder will work because you see you can coat an actual magnet in baby powder aka talcum powder any kind of powder cornstarch whatever and it won't make it any less magnetic it's such a thin layer that you can still stick it to the refrigerator But powder does absorb sebum, which is the reason why I spray it into my hair a few times a week, because I'm too lazy to wash it, like I did right before I started filming this video. Honestly, if I didn't use dry shampoo, I would have so much sebum in my hair that I could probably stick an iron to my own head if I owned an iron. Look, I have developed an aesthetic that does not require me to wash my hair or remove wrinkles from my clothes. Anyway, I find it very interesting that this carny trick has evolved, not in the way that it's gotten any better or more impressive, but just in that it used to be considered a sign of magical powers, something to be held in awe and respected a way for people living in dire circumstances to maybe get positive media attention and leave their villages to become famous and wealthy gurus. But now, now it's bad, uh, something to be weirded out by, another reason to avoid getting a free life-saving vaccine that will stop a deadly pandemic in its tracks. There's not much new under the sun. Uh, we keep just recycling the same bullshit over and over, but the reason evolves with time. So don't believe it. And if anyone you know is worried about their burgeoning magnetic powers, I was able to pick up this cure from the local grocery store for about $2.